Hi, I am Tony Woody, the Minister for Citizenship and Multicultural Interests. Welcome to my multicultural cooking series. In West Australia, we have a very rich cultural, linguistic and faith diversity, and I want to share a part of that with you today. We're here in Williton at the Chunhua Community Care Centre, and I'd like to introduce Dr Tin Jin, who's the president of the association. Good afternoon, how are you going? Good afternoon. And can you introduce Hello. us with all our other guests here yes. today? Yes, let me introduce, this is uh, CEO of Chunhua Community Care, Teresa Kuo. She also got the Western Australian. Yeah, famous. She's famous. <laughs> Senior Western Australian yeah. of 2023. Yeah. <laughs> this is Aileen, is our center manager. This is Jin Mei, is our volunteer who will show you how to cook dumpling. And then this is Esther, is our chairperson of Chunghua Community Care. Well, thanks for that. And there is one other person that's not here now, but it's going to join us at the end. That's Dr. Jans Krishna, the local member. He's going to come and enjoy the fruits of our labor. So let's get moving, okay? Yep. So can you tell us a bit about what we, what goes into making the dumplings? Okay, today what we are going to prepare for your, the dumplings is celery with minced pork. So we have celery here, yep. which is really minced. And then this is the minced pork. Yep. And this is the garlic, also minced. And this water is actually from spring onion and the ginger. Okay. To form into this solution. Okay. Yeah. And this is the dough, uh, the flour. Add with water to form into this dough. Yeah. And this is the pre-prepared ingredient with all these ingredients oh, inside Ah, right, here. okay. So that, yes. so that that include that liquid there? Yes, That's in there? Yeah, because right. sometimes this ginger can be very strong smell, so yeah. you make it into a solution right. so that it's easier for people to accept it. Yeah. So with the flour, the yep. dough, that has obviously the plain flour yep. with the water. Yes. So what's the combination, what's the portion? It based on uh, the texture, gradually, gradually and form the dough. It's more of the texture of the dough. Yes. Okay, so they're the ingredients, pretty simple. And uh, let's get going. Sure. I've never used chopsticks mm, to yes. mix or make my dough when yep. I made bread. So let's see, here we yep. go. Look at that, you're very good at it. Yeah, she's Look at that. She's oh, an she's you're an expert. showing off. Oh, you're quick. She is. She oh, you're showing me expert. up. Oh, this is not fair. It's all on TV. <laughs> she put some flour okay, yeah. over it so it they easier. will not stick together. Yeah. yeah. Try to roll it into form around. Look shape. how good you yes. are. This is this is an expert at it, people. Yeah. It's getting there. You're getting there. I'm getting there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look what I've just done. There you go. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. Yep, there you go. Right. So you call that a skin, yeah. right? Yeah, dough skin, yeah. So then you just fold it over. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There we go. Look at that. It's not too bad, is it? <laughs> and then like that. Yes. Yeah. Phew. Done. There we go. Look at that. Good job. <laughs> Beautiful. So would this be a stable diet back in China? Would this? Would you have this every day? Not every day. No. Occasionally, yeah, Occasionally. or festival, yeah, correct, not every day. Okay, so we've done the ingredients, we've done our dumpling. Yes. Now we're going to, of course, go to the kitchen. But before we do that, yep. I just want to ask Dr. Uh, Tin a little bit about the Chunhua Association. Sure. So, Dr. Tin, you are the president of Chunhua Association of Western Australia, so congratulations, very prestigious position. Tin, you tell us a bit about the history, when it was formed, and what does the association do? Chunhua Association was Funded in 1909, officially registered 1910. Few months after the Chunghua Association registered, we built a Chunghua Hall on James Street. Which is still there? It's still there. Now yeah. it's a, a heritage yeah. building. Yeah. And then with growth of over 110 years, yeah. we set up Chunghua Chinese School in 1970s and then our community care in 1984. Which is where we are today. Yes. Yeah. So with the assistance to this court yeah. as well as Esther Chen and then we grow very very fast. We provide now to 900 elders 
across Western Australia. And then our clients, including people from Chinese from everywhere, as well as Vietnamese, yeah. uh, Spanish, and also, also, also local Australians. So you do some great stuff, and uh, part of that is also providing food. Yes. Uh, so we've, we've done the preparation of the dumplings, yep. so let's go to the kitchen and let's cook them, eh? Yep. Okay. You roll it in. Ah, right. I am dying to go and eat this, so let's go and fix it up, get yep. the sauce, yes. and sit down and let's have a nice meal. Thank you very much, Eileen. Thank, Thank you. you. So these dumplings are part of your family tradition. Can you tell us a bit about the tradition of the dumplings? We Well and look, when did you come to live in Western Australia? From where in China did you come and why did you come to live here? Thank you, thank you. So Jags, we've done all the hard cooking. So thank you everyone for allowing us to learn a bit more about um, culinary delights of uh, the Chinese culture. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, so we've got the fried dumplings here and the steamed dumplings there. Show of hands, who prefers the fried dumplings over the spring dumplings? I prefer the steamed one. Steam, what about you? I, uh, I prefer fried one. Well, I, I reserve my judgment till I taste them, okay? Oh. I'll tell you one thing, I've only had the steamed one, no, the fried one, and that is incredible. So everyone can know whether I prefer the steamed one. Let me have a bit of the steamed one. Well, I can tell you now, my decision is equal first. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, folks, uh, you can learn more about our cooking series by going to the Omi website. Thank you very much. <laughs>